A long-awaited report has called for the immediate release of Uyghur Muslims imprisoned in China. The United Nations says the treatment of ethnic minorities in Xinjiang province may amount to crimes against humanity. There are calls for Australia to consider sanctions against those responsible. Here's foreign affairs reporter Stephen Jedgetts. Mahaba Saleh hasn't heard from her sister for five years. 45-year-old Miyila Yukufu was imprisoned in China's Xinjiang province on charges of financially supporting terrorism after she transferred money to her family in Adelaide to help them buy a house. I don't know like what kind of abuse she has suffered. Let my sister go home, let her reunite with her three children. It's estimated China has detained more than a million Uyghurs and Muslim minorities in camps in Xinjiang. Now a UN report corroborates what victims' families have long known. This is the first time that the UN in chilling detail has described the pattern of widespread and systematic abuses. In the months leading to its release, the human rights chief found herself in a diplomatic tug of war. Pressures from countries who want to publish and not to publish. Finally, in her mandate's dying minutes, Michelle Bachelet released her team's findings. The 48-page report said investigators uncovered credible evidence of torture which may constitute crimes against humanity, accusing China of using vague national security laws designed to create systems of arbitrary detention. But they didn't mention the genocide and what I believe is it is genocide. The report also poses some uncomfortable questions for the federal government. The opposition says Labor should consider imposing Magnitsky sanctions on those responsible for human rights abuses in Xinjiang. But that would draw a furious response from China right at the time when both countries are delicately trying to stabilise ties. Yeah, we are completely opposed to such a report. We do not think it, it will produce any good to anyone. But the families of those detained still cling on to hope of change in Xinjiang. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News.